uh, before I do this, uh, I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of what uh, CDMA Development Group is all about. Uh, it's, it's a trade association uh, made up of uh, essentially operators and manufacturers. The, the board here, uh, executive board, which controls the, the charter, is all operators. Uh, typically, all these operators have to be supporters of CDMA technology itself. Uh, under that, we have various uh, activities. Uh, we promote uh, CDMA technology worldwide. Uh, we do uh, actively participate in the development of the technology itself. And we also uh, try to help operators uh, in the in the marketing side, time to market, international roaming, interoperability uh, kind of issues. Uh, I do have a lot more slides, so I'm going to skip the, some of them very quickly, and at least it will be on the website, and uh, you, you can look at it. I, I think I already said it. There's 120 members. They're operators, subscriber equipment manufacturers, network infrastructure, uh, telecom services uh, folks, and also the revenue management and enhancement. Uh, uh, the Today, uh, CDMA is in 46 countries. Uh, this is not a very good map, but it, it does give you some idea where, where the concentration of CDMA is uh, today. Uh, worldwide, uh, all these, these uh, very sophisticated advanced technologies at a very reasonable cost, uh, high-speed data. Uh, we all remember 1,200 baud modems. We have come a long way since then. Uh, systems deployed here here in this country, they're typically IS-95A. Uh, the carrier required is 1.25 megahertz, and the data speed here is 14.4. From they don't have the sequential uh, path. So, or you can start with one XRTT and move on. And this technology will give you 144 kilobits uh, data speeds, which is equivalent to wireline and also increased voice capacity. End of year 2001, the standards are already in place. Uh, we can practically do two megabits per second. Uh, and there are proposals in the, in the standards industry, 3GPP2, which is the, the partnership uh, of several countries which are developing this standard, that the data rates can go as high as 5 megabits per second on this air interface. The standards can be deployed 800, 1800, 1900, and all the IMTM bands. If I am not sure if the equipment is available in all these bands, but the standard has addressed all the, all the bands, uh, even your PCS 1800 here. IMT 2000 family of standards defines these basically three CDMA interfaces. Uh, CDMA direct spread, which is also known as wideband CDMA, uh, CDMA multi-carrier, and CDMA TDD. I think the key here is looking at all these technologies, regardless of technology, is how cost effectively you can migrate to a third generation system. Again, depends upon what your base is today.